Hey guys, how are you guys doing today? We are back! And this time, you guys can see that in the Empyrean Shadows update is upon us! It's gonna be hitting on the 19th for those of you who are wondering, and we're gonna be getting some exciting stuff. So let's jump right into it! Alright, let's start first with the Act 10. Alright, now we're gonna be getting a new storyline, which I am absolutely gonna be playing through it on the channel, and I will be showcasing it as well. Um, there seems to be pretty cool stuff happening in the trailer, you know what I mean? So, of course, I'll be showing all the cinematics and all that good stuff. Alright, so, um, Act 10. Gathering the dark to understand the future, you must experience the past. Continue your story um, to the Imperian Citadel, meeting the new allies and facing the familiar foes. As Mushin gains the power, the time is near to determine uh, or to to reawaken the power of the Naryu. Because there's no way, all right. We all know that all of the ancient weapons belong to the Naryu, okay? It's all Naryu. <laughs> Unless Mushin is like, yo, I got something that's better than Naryu. We're, he, he's not stopping. Did you guys not see the Grand Celestial Emperor? He is the Naryu God. <laughs> Anyways, this is going to be fun for all you KFM users. KFM users, you guys will be getting a new third spec. I probably will not cover it because I don't play KFM and KFM feels kind of weird, but I will try it. I'll try it. And if it's fun... All right, if it's fun, I might cover it, but maybe. But if it's if it's not up to my playstyle, then you know you won't see anything on it. All right, so for you know for KFM, you guys will get a new third spec called Way of the Iron Claw, where you get to transform into a wolf, and this wolf does devastating damage in a AOE fashion. Of course, it's it's man. Let me tell you, the the KR the KR um version of the of the of this KFM is quite cool like i think it looks cool to it looks cool to, to watch people play it but i don't think it's fun to play it so you know that that's the that's the thing and the main part is if, if it's not you know meta like every you know like every other um you know class like i don't think people will use kfm third spec however i do think it's I do think it's quite strong in uh, PvE, so we'll see. We'll see how it plays out in PvP, and if I do see one, of course, we'll you know we'll showcase it on the uh, on the channel and stuff. All right. So this is this is the fun part. This is the fun part right here, and it is third spec Blade Master. This is not third, third, third spec Blade Master. This is a whole different class. I'm, we're gonna call this class Sword Mage, all right? This is Sword Mage. This is not Blade Master in any way, shape, or form. Because let me tell you, all of its attacks, <laughs> all of its attacks are super long range, are like Angle Biter. When you you know deploy your your awesome Sword Mage powers, you you gain the ability to do things at 16 meters, like Angle Biter, which is normally only like you know five meters. Angle Biter becomes 16 meters. Your take flight and heavenly dance becomes 16 meters, although heavenly dance is already like that. Um, but your rising eagle is 16 meters. You also get huge AOEs as well, and of course you get a waifu. I mean, why wouldn't you play this class? You get a waifu. <laughs> you get a freaking waifu for 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 one of your uh, skill specs. But anyways, you guys want to know my answer for this? Is that will I be playing? Blade Master again, and my answer to that is, if it's bad, I'm gonna throw it back into the tin. I, just kidding. I, I'm gonna give it a chance. I, I'm gonna 100, 100% give it a chance. Um, during during the time that I play it. Now, if it is fun, okay. Warden has set a really high standard for me already. Um, so if it's not fun for me to play, I probably won't play it again. But on a more serious note, okay. On a more serious note, if if this class does become more fun for me to play again, okay, if it does become fun for me to play again, I will definitely be trying to take some souls in it, alright? You guys already know, you guys already know, we're, we're going to be trying to take some souls in it. I'll probably, even though most people um, say that Lightning BM is better in PvP, I see a lot of potential in 3rd spec BM. I, I do see a lot of potential in it, and I do like it. Um, there, there, there's a lot of things that I think people missed about it. So, uh, you know, we'll definitely be trying this 
is back out and will be featuring on the on the channel very soon as soon as it hits okay um and of course i'll try to you know give you guys the dps rotation and all that good stuff but it'll come in later okay so the new dungeon warped citadel so we're getting we're getting a lot of stuff guys we're getting a new dungeon okay we're getting a new dungeon as well the um the citadel here has been corrupted by a prince now this prince is not Prince Subin, it is Prince Subu. Not the same person, but you know what? He looks cooler. He looks way cooler than the generic demon from uh, Brew Chamber, but you know what? Whatever. Bearing a immutable grudge and seeking judgment against those who wronged them, the Citadel has been turned into a nightmarish realm of necromancy where the dead have risen and the ghosts of the past seek salvation. Can you stop him before his evil spreads? I mean, of course we're gonna have to because I'm pretty sure if this dungeon does not give me 20 gold, I... <laughs> this dungeon better give me 20 gold because if it does, if it doesn't, I'm gonna be upset. I'm gonna be upset. But if it's close to 20 gold, it's, it's good enough. But you know what? I expect 20 gold by now. And then last but not least, we're gonna be getting a fishing event. Now, a lot of people say, okay, a lot of people think that fishing is bad fishing is actually good okay L let me let me tell you L let me explain let me explain fishing can be done good if they allow it to be because if you can afk and just and just get some fish bro like make this into an automatic thing where you can go afk for like a couple hours do your thing come back you know get an oil you know what i mean like imagine imagine if you caught this you know big red fish here and you're like yo dude fisherman guy English, my dude. <laughs> yo, dude, fisherman guy. Let me trade this in for an oil. And he's like, yo, you want you want that oil? You better give me that red fish. And I'm like, yo, here you go. And like, you know what I mean? Like, make this into something that every single player can benefit from. And if if they do this correctly, okay, they do this correctly, um, there'll be lots of, uh, of, of good things from fishing. Let, let me tell you. L let me tell you. I bet you, I bet you one of these fish... Right here, one of these fish, 20, 20 soul stones. <laughs> just kidding. I don't know, but you know, just just my just my guesses, right? So this is just you know the cool banner that they did. I think it's pretty cool. If NCSoft put as much effort into you know all these cool banners and these cool images onto their servers, we we'd, we'd have a we, we we would have a clean game. Let me tell you, we we would have a clean game. All right, let's go into the real spice. All right, the real spice of this, and that is the Empyrean Shadow um, items and system changes, okay? So, there's going to be a lot of things that we're going to be uh, getting, um, and one of them is Daily Challenge. You guys can see that we are getting a reduced reputation from Daily Challenge from 10 to 10,000. Now, there's one thing that you need to keep in mind that there's going to be certain events where um, if you do five daily quests, you might get more event currency, so it might encourage you to do five daily challenge on that character. It also saves you if you want if you only have one character, um, instead of you know doing multiple characters, you know just getting the three, um, you know getting the two or three you know rewards. It might be better for you to do five on your main character because in, you know, in turn you're doing it on two characters already, right? So if they if they I see the potential of this, okay? The potential is if they make it so that if you if you do decide to do five daily challenges, which is not hard, um, you don't have to, you know, do you know multiple alts on events, which is really, really nice and really really good because that'll make us not play our alts and I don't like playing on alts. I wanna play on my main because I love my main, okay? She is cute. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna be getting some pretty cool um Daily challenge uh, Splendor Stones and Ascension Stones, you guys know it already, they can be purple or blue. Highly recommend you guys get the purple set as soon as possible, and then, you know, if you're at blue, get purple, and then go on from there. There's a lot of potential that, you know, make your character into your own on their specific um, uh, stats here. Alright, so Arena and Battleground changes. Alright, I don't know what this means. <laughs> I absolutely don't know what this I read this already. And I have no clue what this means, okay? They're making it so it's available for more warriors, but they don't spe specify um, the schedules of all time. So like, I'm hoping this is Frenzy, 
All right, MC Soft, if this is not frenzy, all right, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. If this is not frenzy, this is worthless. Let me tell you, like, this is worthless because I don't care about this, all right? Like, 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 well, well, I do care about the PvP part, but I don't, like, if you make it into these times and it's not frenzy and it's something, you know, something completely off, like, nobody, no one should care about it. So, you know, that's good. Okay, again, I have no clue what, like, if it's not Frenzy, I don't care about it, <laughs> okay? There's gonna be a new weapon, of course, because the boss 3 of the new raid is coming out, even though it's not on the freaking thing that we just read over there. We are getting boss 3. Why would they put the weapon here if we're not getting boss 3? Doesn't make sense. Okay, so we're getting boss 3, which the weapon is called Thornbreaker. I don't know. I think they should... I think they should have named it something different because you know I see crystals on every single one of this, on, on every single one of these uh, weapons. Let me tell you, Crystal Breaker would be better. <laughs> Change their name. Just saying. Okay. Um, but we are getting new weapons. Of course, these weapons will be you know stronger than Grand Celestial, which I feel like the Grand Celestial weapon looked uh, you know pretty nicely. It looked you know tech like the, from a you know technological. Robot race, you know, what I mean except for warden wardens. We get a chicken wing. I don't know why we get a chicken wing, but we got a chicken wing, you know <laughs> Okay, okay, so um, If you since the uh, new weapons are coming out, okay, they're gonna be reducing the uh, weapons of Skyforge weapon and Skyforge weapon and Grand Celestial uh, and Grand Celestial so it'll be cheaper for you guys to upgrade your Skyforge weapon if you're on that path and same thing for Grand Celestial weapon as well. I'm not gonna go over it because it's you, know, you guys can view that for yourself. And then if you guys do the new dungeon, you'll be able to obtain a new belt. Now this belt, okay, for those of you who are wondering, is this a prioritized item? It is not a prioritized item. It's, it's, a, it's a good to have item, but it's not a prioritized. Uh, mainly because it's top tier dungeon and even if I get one of these, okay, even if I get one of these, I'm probably not gonna spend more than like 300 gold. My, my max bid on this will be 300 gold. I'm not spending any more than 300 gold on this thing because it's not a priority item and you shouldn't spend huge money on it unless it's a priority item like a ring, earring, bracelet, you know, all that good stuff, okay? So, belt here, pretty good stuff, you know, nice recovery, um, some boss defense, but as you guys can see, 200 attack more power, so it does give you a slight DPS increase, maybe 2% at best. I'm like, I'm serious, man. 2% at best, not gonna be a huge DPS increase. So if you think this is gonna give you DPS increase, it's not. It's gonna be the set bonus effect. The set bonus effect will give us something nice. Uh, 200, 200 crit damage, which is about 2%. So in total, if you get this and you have this together, it's about 40% DPS increase. It's Decent. It's good enough, all right. It's good enough. And then we, of course, we have the PVP belt. Now, I don't think this PVP belt is as good as Skybreaker, but maybe, maybe I just can't read the numbers correctly. But I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a better belt. Um, I can tell that the, you know, the HP of it is higher. Um, the health region is higher, but there's no damage reduction. Okay, on the P on the belt. On the Sky Skybreaker belt, there is the, there's another stat called damage reduction right here. But this PP attack power, really, we, we don't need PP attack power on a belt. We want da we want damage reduction, okay? Um, and so the if you guys hear somebody in the background, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure you guys don't hear them because I have background music to you know cancel out some of the background mu uh, background people. But uh, you know it's it's there. Anyways. Um, Pretty good stuff from the defenses to the uh, instant health recovery. 8,000 is pretty nice, but again, the buff only lasts for about 6 seconds, okay? It's just gonna come, it's gonna go, okay? It's not gonna last forever. Um, you also get an extra 600 crit defense, which is quite nice. Um, that's, you know, that'll make it so that people are, you know, you're not prone to getting, you know, one-shotted by a critical hit, which is pretty good. And that will go with your set effect of having four pieces giving you an extra 750 crit defense as well um pvp defense by 1500 which is about another uh 10 uh, it's about another eight percent of pvp defense which is quite nice and here it is guys the real juice the real juice is here okay so of course we got new soul all right this new soul is again 
powerful, very very good soul. However, if you are running long soul, 15 seconds of soul is pretty good, okay? 15 seconds of soul, that is the same amount of blue buff and the same amount of soul burn. Very very nice and I may consider going long soul if, if, if I reach this, but if I, I don't think I will because the um the 10 seconds from uh, true tiger like i'm gonna be going true tiger on the very first day of course and uh hopefully we'll be able to you know well i'll be, I'll be able to show it on screen on uh, on you know on a, on a video but yeah uh the you know the souls here are really strong okay they're really strong i'm this is basically true uh true tiger right here like right here this is true tiger uh so let's pretend right um, you do get a pretty decent amount of boss AP, so this had no boss AP, but now you get 85 more boss AP. Same amount of crit, however you jump from 38% of crit damage to 50%. That's pretty pretty good, that's 12% more 12% um, more crit damage, which is quite nice for 12 seconds. So keep in mind, you get 2 extra seconds, that means okay, you can do more damage during uh, soul burn and, uh, and blue buff phase okay um, you also get the same amount of mystic same thing 18% you get a little bit more focus but focus shouldn't be a problem for any other classes if you're at this gear level um, and then you get 50 more mystic for 12 seconds 50 more mystic not that much but the huge thing is getting higher crit damage okay the crit damage on this soul is is another you know is, is now a thousand instead of 900 so it's another slight jump of you know 700 not 700 about 70 crit damage and we're gonna get a slight tad bit more ap from the uh, attack power buff as well if you're running long soul and you you know getting long soul um you, you get about the same um focus i don't care about the you get 460 uh additional mystic instead of 365 which is about only about you know another percent but the really big part here is 65 percent of crit damage that's that's really big damage okay that's really big damage as well as getting a ton more um boss stack power of 180. you guys can also see that the cooldown is, is less it's 57 seconds instead of one minute which is really big because that will allow you to um always have your soul before sober now i would say that's a bad thing okay i would say that's a bad thing because um i hope the new soul shields after et will be will give us a uh, soul burn um you know a, a, a faster soul burn timer because then we'll have our soul before uh no no it'll make it so that we'll have soul burn before soul and that'll make it really really nice for us to sync up the two items together if we're running long soul okay now if we were to compare these two um in order here is that you, if you're running short soul like whether you should run short soul or long soul um you're not missing out on much to be honest like this is you know ap is not that much um attack boss attack power again not that much you're you're losing th three seconds of the long soul okay but your cooldown is only eight seconds each okay guys you're only you know it's it's only an eight second cooldown okay and this only activates every other minute so this so here if you're looking for dps it's way better um and then you're missing about from 50 65 you know 15 percent of your crit damage is is not there and you know just a little bit more of everything else here but if you're running long if you're running short so the majority okay I, I say the majority of the classes they will be using short so however i'm for one thinking for some reason i I want to go long soul because this having a same duration as soul burn is pretty clean okay it's pretty clean okay all right so let's let's stop talking about that for now I think I, I spent a good you know five minutes talking about it. that's probably it there okay so there is a soul reduction yes there is a soul reduction I'm super excited for it. you guys ready for it let's go to it right here um, okay so first of all they're deleting okay they're deleting all of the old soul stages so now it's only Hongun energy one through five once you get through one through five you get the the real soul and then the best part about this is that you do not use any oils you use none of the oils until you get to true cosmic slash uh true transcendent okay you do not use 
any of them whatsoever. And guess what? It's only five oils. It's legit five oils to upgrade your um, true cosmic, which is pretty cool. But you have to, you do have to use materials, okay? So if you're wondering how every, you know, how all the really, really geared players, okay, um, farm their materials, there's certain places where they farm, you know, materials and one of the places or one of the best places is sandstorm temple that place will give you really good drops for your material because it's the tier 3 material box and that will give you very good ratios between your soul stone moonstone and uh, elysian crystals okay they're very very nice boxes so make sure you, if you want materials go do st don't be lazy all right they're not making you farm 10 million events sorry not events <laughs> They're not making you farm alts to upgrade your soul anymore. Okay, you can just farm dungeons on your main and you'll be able to um, get your souls to true cosmic relatively easy, okay? Not that hard, but I wouldn't go true cosmic immediately on the first day because on first day, sacred oil prices are gonna spike. Hard, hard spike, okay? So keep that in mind as well. And then the big part, for all of us who are waiting to get our soul to true tiger, this is the fun part right here, ladies and gentlemen. The grand total is 66 oils, and it is so nice. L let me tell you, let me tell you, 66 oils to upgrade from true cosmic to true tiger is super nice. And I, I'm at awakened tiger, so I only need like 40 some oils, which is really cool. Um, I have enough already but I'm gonna ask them for a revert because I want to save some oils and uh, you know upgrade some of my other things as well and you know this is really good like, like like I really like this now you do have to use some of your materials um, such as soul stones moon stones and say crystals and elation crystals but those are just crystals you can legit farm for those things okay so nobody should have an excuse no one should have an excuse of not having at least true cosmic except on the first day <laughs> except on the first few days of of you know of, of you know the uh the uh, of the past because you know oil prices are gonna spike hard okay keep that in mind <laughs> okay so don't buy oils on very first day they're gonna cost you like a couple you know like 400 you know 400 to 500 gold foreign oil so don't do that on first day all right but after after a couple weeks after a couple weeks it's it's only your fault that you don't have the the you know the the, the tier of soul that you want to reach it's your fault all right it's no longer the game's fault because this is this is super cheap already <laughs> and they're making it that much cheaper so very very good stuff i do like it ever spark and bright will the grand total is 150 some oils i uh, uh well I, I should i shouldn't say grand total if i don't know the specific number but it's around 155 oils i'm, I'm maybe yeah 155 or 158 i'm not sure but it's 150 some oils and it's it's actually uh, this is pretty cheap compared to um the the jump from the old jump <laughs> from cosmic to uh true tiger which is big the old jump is big so you know this is 150 oils is not that bad i was expecting 175 oils i was expecting a lot okay i was expecting a lot so this is relatively cheap like and you get a pretty strong soul too all right guys so that is the soul reduction that is the big hype let me tell you the big hype I'm so excited. Alright guys, so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video and um, I hope you guys have you know gotten some really really useful information from this video as well. And also, well, even though it's not on the video, I'm sure Trove is there, okay? Trove is there. Um, there's one more thing that a lot of people are asking and is the, the GC wings, are they going to be account bound? No, they're not because this is this is the system and item changes already this it's already posted so unless they they came out of nowhere you know what i mean unless the, they, they they say um tt wings are account bound uh coming out of nowhere then we're probably not gonna get it but there is a chance because they're 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 gonna show off a live stream uh later on this uh this you know hopefully in upcoming weeks and so 
tune into that and make sure to see if uh, and make sure. Well, I'm gonna ask them if TT Wings are gonna be account bound. But anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching this video. You guys have been amazing. If you stuck this far, all right, if you stuck this far, you're absolutely amazing. And um, I'll see you guys on the next update where we do a lot of fun stuff. This I can finally make some more videos because it's just been a you know not a lot of video. Thank you guys for watching once again. You guys have been awesome, and I'll see you guys next time on Blade and Soul. See you guys then.